Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 12 of my mini playthrough of the Love Struck expansion pack. And if you are returning, welcome back. And I'm on a quest for more points for Celeste so that she can get the connected trait and get a job and start at level four, as opposed to starting at level one, which is why I'm on a quest for that. So we're going to actually have her work on the couple of the vampire aspirations because much as we're not going to become a vampire, you can use a computer to search for information and then get to vampire lore level three. You don't need to be a vampire to do that. And I'm also trying to get her to earn the money so that she can do the fortune aspiration. So we're going to come here and search for information and you got to do it twice because there's actually, we're actually going to put this up for like a lot because I want her to finish the fortune aspiration. One, she'll get the um, bonus trait, but also it'll give her, it's an easy way to get her points using Trendy. <laughs> so she's got that done. And we're going to switch her knowledge as the other. So there's three vampire aspirations, but the knowledge one and the popular one are the ones where you use the computer to search and then get the points for doing that. So let's try this again. Uh, oh, maybe it, oh, we have our bills, so we'll pay our bills. And then vampire, we're going to search again for that to get it to count here. And we'll let her finish it this time. So that will then get the Vampire Vampirica Volume 1 so she can read it to get that to count. And she has a point here, which I'll just leave her for now because it depends on what I do with her. We, we don't need it that much. And so she got 300 points there. So that's an easy way to get a decent amount of points. Uh, for now, <laughs> unless they change it, you do get a decent amount of points from the Vampire even the base, because she was like at 2,700, and now she's at 33 something. So she's definitely doing better. Oh, I'll do that one. Nah, you know what? We'll just do the one. If she sells the one, then she'll get a lot of money. And if she doesn't, then she'll get a decent amount of money. <laughs> Not quite as much. So we're going to ship that to buyer, which will help her with that. And when she is finished with this, she should have unlocked. She has unlocked. So we're going to order that uh vampire number one now the interesting thing with the vampire tomes if you're ever trying to get the vampire skill which you do not obviously need to be a vampire to get this skill is that as soon as you unlock the next one that means you're done and you can then read the next one so it's really easy to tell when you're ready to read what what one you're really on is because it's the one you can read unless you're at the final one and have finished it then obviously <laughs> you've unlocked them all and there's nothing left to read. And uh, so she got, so let's actually have you read that. And in this case, I'm going to leave her on the knowledge one because that's actually saying to read it, whereas the other one is to get to level three. So that's that's it. If you're not a vampire, these are the only things moving on, the only ones you can do for the vampire aspirations. But, you know, it's an easy way of getting some points. And I have uh, Kara working on her logic skill to get that. And I guess we know he's tense. Lactose overachiever. It's not a very good... Well, it's actually, it doesn't matter, but may, might be why he's tense <laughs> from that. We can ask him to play chess. And probably maybe... Um, and she got that done. So now she needs, we need a rocket ship. This is another easy one, really, for Celeste, which I'm not going to put her on right now, is like to get to that stage. It's not that hard to do. And let me see if I've had her working on her handiness. She has not worked on her handiness skill. But anyways, so they're just doing that. And then also, I don't know if she's still tense. She was tense because she needed to... Um, <laughs> from a materialistic trait she needed something new to admire which I bought some stuff that was new but then I was so focused on the other things that I never had her admire anything so we didn't have to actually she just got over the tension it's definitely not a trait I use very often and she still not got that finished it's not marked off and oh you came downstairs okay so you must have done your did you learn a spell a potion i should say because i had you working yep you learned potion of nausea 
because I had you working on that. And I just have him on here so that when they go on the date, it'll count for that. We're not going to obviously get the second partner. Because I assume you need to have them at the same time. As opposed to, like, as opposed to have had them. <laughs> I would guess, but I don't know, actually. Because it seems like it, the way it's worded, it says two or more partners, <laughs> not consecutively. So now, let's, let's be for you. So we're at 36.25, and we're going to go over onto the popularity. It's at the bottom. And we got another 300. So there, she's got 39. She's doing decently well. Let's see where she is on the fortune. Uh, may as well just check. So she hasn't done the reading, so I'm going to take her off of there. I'll put her on it after we've got this fabulously wealthy. And then she is now in the, she just needs to earn the final money. So she's at 7,100, which is what I wanted, really, to get, like, a decent amount of points under her belt. Um, so, so she can catch up a little bit. It's bad enough she doesn't have the skills. At least now she has a few points. So we're going to get her connections. And then, well, since she's ambitious and likes to have a job, she actually, I think, wants to start a new career. We're going to have her join the, the one that comes, one of the, well, the one that comes with the pack. And then I don't know if we'll get far enough to, you know, choose a branch. We're going to go on Nerd Brain and see now where she is. She needs to read one more book. So she's actually not doing too, like, she's actually pretty good for this which we could have her read the next vampire tome for that, but I'm actually going to have her work read the handiness book because she needs handiness skill for the nerd brain aspiration anyways. So I'll have her do that. So she's going to do that, get a few more points, and then we're going to come back and have her join her career. It's later, and I would say poor Carrick, if she's not been doing anything romantic at all because she's been just doing things there's been no romance partner here but we're gonna say no <laughs> to being unflirty uh, i have no idea why she's feeling that way and i had her craft a bracelet and we need to harvest i just realized that our garden is like pretty full and we should harvest it so i had oh she's oh, hurt herself from she was pretty low to be to be fair it was pretty low <laughs> not a big surprise that she hurt herself and hopefully they get the garden done and you can just play that and work on so she's got more points again because i had her working on nerd brain and they've just been building some skills and whatnot and she's about to get to level five or she just got to level five and you know what i'm pretty sure i had already got her connections she doesn't have very many Reward traits right now, so it's easy to see. It's always harder when they have a lot more. But I'm actually going to give her Observant. That's an easy, good one. And Waterproof. Don't like umbrellas. And it's the too late for bills. We already got her bills, so there's no point giving her Frugal. And we'll give her, you know what? I want her to get promotions. So we've gone too far. I want her to get Entrepreneurial. And, um, steel bladder. And then I'll get her incredibly friendly next. Once she gets the points for it, she's 75 short. So we're going to come in here and start a career. She wants to do that. Find a job. And that'll give her some po 50 points. Not enough, though, but some. Okay, so we're going to scroll through here. And we're going to take, let me see it, the romance consultant. So are you a natural at interpreting feelings, a sucker for romance, and interested in helping others and find their happily ever after? You may be destined to become a romance consultant. And the career branches are relationship counselor and matchmaker. So, of course, we're going to start whatever. So we're starting at the romance practitioner, which should be level four, unless the branches split out before that then sometimes even with the connections you start at the level before where they branch out so we'll see so she is level four so it does branch out um and the next one is just a regular one so it does branch out till later i think there's at least one career i can't remember that starts like that they branch at four 
Um, so she needs to study modern love on the computer, and she needs romance and logic skill for this career. And she would have worked today, except I got her the job too late. <laughs> so we're gonna go. Is that under career? Oh, it is under career. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be under web. Sometimes they're under web. Sometimes they're. Oh, now she has to watch reality dating TV. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. So she doesn't have to study the other thing. She has to watch this. Let's look. Because there was two new. So we have got reality dating show. Oh. All right. I wonder if that. We're going to stop studying modern love. Which helps her with the romance. I was trying to get her to read the romance book. But it just. She kept putting it down. And it. And then she finally was reading. I wasn't sure if she needed like the book three. Because she was kind of. I never know exactly where like the book two and the book three begin and end. I, I thought I used to know it, but then it seemed like it wasn't working that way. So now I don't. <laughs> so now I don't know. So he, she is watching. She's got to watch for two hours. And at least that is helping her with her romance skill. So you may as well watch the current channel. It'll help you with your romance skill. And I just realized that the romance channel also works. <laughs> helps you build your romance skill. Which makes sense. I just wasn't even thinking I have... Usually for um, Love Day, I change the goals. I don't like the goals that they have. I don't like giving the flowers because I find that sometimes the Sims don't like it, and I don't like that. <laughs> it's like, appreciate it. So you can may as well watch that current channel, too. And uh, I don't know what year. Yeah, so. And let's check your needs here are pretty good. So nothing else. So they're just watching the reality dating TV channel, which I guess is what they may be on. And she wants to admire, she wants to brag about possessions. So, hmm, it's under friendly. Interests, maybe? Oh, look, there was something there. Under this, obviously, it's not under there. Gossip? Nope. Small talk, maybe? Ooh. Sounds like maybe a small, yeah, small talk thing. Brag about possessions. And then we're going to go under the career. So we can give unsolicited love advice and share love insights. Why don't we share love insights? <laughs> maybe we should try giving unsolicited love advice to um, Kara. She needs to get her logic skill up. Let's see here. And she see, you know, I was playing a different save and my sim became a partner, like just similar to this, did the wild dates thing. They became partners before the sim moved in and it just wasn't completing. In that case, I just used cheats. I used MCCC to do the, essentially the CAS, the, the complete milestone cheat, which you can do without it. It's just I don't tend to remember the cheats. So I find it easier, but obviously you don't need it for that. Um, no, no, it's a pleasant conversation. We can't do anything romantic. Oh, you got to work. So let's check this. I don't want you going to work. So you have to research a plant. You have to harvest a plant. I had to research for some reason. I miss. I read that wrong. So we're gonna just uh, cut. A seed so we can get some more crystals and we will do um, emerald because it's basically it would be worth 20 though topaz is the one that's always for sure always there at magic HQ so we'll do topaz instead and she could harvest a plant easily so we'll harvest those lilies and do we get anywhere with that she is flirty from watching the TV, and she's chatting, watching. Why are you watching the stars? Oh, look like you're watching the stars to me. How far are you on this watch? Oh, you've got that for two hours. Let's we'll let them watch a little longer so that she can level up her romance because I think that'll get her to seven. Yeah, so we'll let her read. We'll let her watch till she gets to seven. Then maybe she can read that book that we have. Though you don't really need to read it because you can just... Oh, look. She can become a love bug. Well, I'm going to say no. 
So I'm not sure I actually like her traits, and I've heard there's issues with the retraining potion, or just changing the traits once they've got extra ones, because then you can get rid of the extra ones when you use it. It gets, I think what I've heard, I've never experienced this because I never tried it, you get rid of the extra traits, but you can get up to six, up to the three, so six in total, self-discovery traits, but what I've heard is that when you you know, get rid of, change your traits, it gets rid of those self-discovery traits, but it also, but the slot is still filled, even though you don't have the trait. I saw a bug report for that, so whether that's actually true. So we're going to actually try and embrace and see um, romance, physical intimacy, embrace. Because she needs to do that here three times. There you go. Yeah, get another one. They're still not counting. I wonder if they got engaged, if that would count for having a romantic partner. <laughs> let's just... Okay, he's hungry, so let's rally the troops. So that seems a bit silly, but like I said, this is the second time where my Sims became partners where I was only controlling one of the Sims, and when I moved the Sim in, that, you know, get a romantic partner or have a romantic partner didn't... It just says have. It doesn't say gad. But, uh... Hmm. Well, we're gonna... Let's see. Change relationship. Oh. But maybe it's under romance? No, I don't see. Why can't we propose? Are we already engaged? I didn't think we were. I thought we were only partners, romantic partners. In therapy. Okay. Let me take a look. Brag about, well, you already did that. Why did you not get this? You started a new career. Okay, I'm going to use UI cheats to complete this, because we did it, and it didn't mark off. Okay, well, we'll do that. Get a promotion. We'll pin it, I mean. And we can play, we can pin that, because that's easy to do. Do you have the option? Relationship. Ask to roam. Maybe I went too far. Oh, maybe that's the problem. Let me go back to him. It was an underchange relationship. There it is. Okay, we're going to propose. <laughs> All in the interest of trying to get the... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> get her to mark off Who's having... Smart? See, in my other case, my sims were already but engaged. So, I mean, maybe getting married would have dope. marked it off, but I wasn't ready to do that. So, I'm just curious Sir, whether you may? Huh? it'll uh, mark it oh, off for her <laughs> A partner. <laughs> there we go. Yay. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna pause because I want to. I have to, you know, try and get this set up. I'll, yeah, the wall keeps getting in my way. So there. Okay. So I'm gonna put the walls back in to cut away. <laughs> there you go. Now did that mark that off? Yes. <laughs> Yay. We got it marked off. Only took getting engaged. <laughs> it does seem kind of like it's a bug because you should be able to. Um, we'll let her. We'll let one of them. We'll let one of the three of them scavenge for parts. I just want you to s get through this embrace. Romance. Embrace. Let's get the third embrace, and then you can come over here and scavenge for parts. And, uh, okay, so let's, so now we need to get gold on a romantic date, and then we need to, the woohoo in three different locations, and just 25 romantic gestures in general. Did you, I think you, I feel like you got this done, if I remember correctly. No, you don't have it done. Now you've done it. Oh, I think because he didn't have the romance skill. And now he has the romance skill. So for this, he has... I'm guessing because it says he just completed it. 
wants to explore all romance has to offer. That he's a seasoned romantic. Oh, it was Kara who got the other one done. So I remember reading the, <laughs> the reward, but it was for the other aspiration. Seasoned romantic Sims find their romantic relationships with other Sims grow faster. They also get over embarrassment faster since they know they that you don't need to be embarrassed when it comes to love. Okay, so he's got a decent amount of uh, points, reward points. So we will, I'll look and see if there, we'll give him waterproof. I already gave, and he doesn't have morning Sim and night owl and... Um, hmm. He doesn't have a job, so he doesn't need entrepreneurial. I feel like connections might help him, so we'll get him connections and leave it at that for now. And let's see. You need to level up your magic for that one. You'd probably need to evolve some plants, which we haven't really had much luck with doing. Uh, angling ace, you need to catch some fish. Well, why don't you go fishing? And actually, what we should be doing is looking for the bear and try and, like, unlock that bear costume. We're gonna come here and go fishing together. And what are you doing? No, what are you? Sorry. Kara, well, you're harvesting. Oh, you're just harvesting. Oh, you haven't? Okay, because you were... Oh, you got your seed! You got this done. So we can plant that, and then we'll have some trees. We should probably make another one. Maybe I will not plant that right now. I'll plant it right now. I'll have her plant that. Is there anything here? Do we have a gardener? I don't think we do. We'll wait. We're going to wait a minute. She has to gift jewelry, or we'll survive. not going to do that. We made the jewelry. We have the friend. We'll maybe invite... Um, him over. So we're going to fertilize the rose. I don't know what you're talking about. We're delaying our... I think that happens where it's instantly grown when you fertilize because I do have a mod by Lil Miss Sam that's supposed to stop to help with the plants going to dirt piles. It doesn't actually stop them, but essentially when it sees the dirt pile, it'll like go, oh, it should be grown and it'll grow back up again. Uh, it doesn't just by default. Sometimes I find it just happens right after you plant something, but I find that fertilizing immediately seems to trigger it. And these things take forever, forever <laughs> to grow. Not a fan, I have to say. So she should have got her work task done. Yep, she did. And uh, she works in 24 hours. The downside of the working from home is I find it takes them longer to get through their, um, to get their promotions, but it's not that big of a deal because of, um, the fact that she, you know, she just took the job because she got it offered to her and it doesn't really matter. So we have a new job. We'll take a look, you know, a little brief look at that before we end this let's play. And, um, we're going to leave this part here. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!